Good afternoon and welcome to NYFE. Today I'm joined by Peter Costa of Empire Executions. Hi Peter, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. Well, it's been quite a session today and uh, quite a start to the month of August. We come in, we see the markets rally, and now the major averages are all down over 1%. Do you think uh, today's uh, gains as well as losses are short-lived? Well, I think what happened is a lot of people that went short on Friday, you know, covered this morning, had to cover because the market rallied so much and they saw what was going on overseas. And uh, I think this is, this is we're going to see a lot of this. This is not a short-term thing where it's only going to be one or two days where we'll have some, you know, uh, fairly volatile activity. I think we're going to see this for, the, for a good part of the month. And, uh, you know, having a 230-point or 250-point swing in one day, that's nice. I mean, that's nice for you guys like us, you know, on the trading floor because we make our livings trading. But... You know, it's a little scary if you're an investor. Well, Peter, since we're talking about the major averages, what technical levels are you watching? Well, actually, in the S&P, I'm looking at like 1235, 1240, even though that's not technically what everyone else is looking at. It's, it's sort of a percentage move from the top, and I think that we've seen it bounce off that level a couple of times. I think that's fairly strong support. Uh, you know, they were saying that we crossed through the 200-day moving average at some point today, which is significant. Uh, that's another thing that a lot of people watch. I think more people watch that than what I'm watching. But what ends up happening with that is that if we don't have any kind of um, you know, continuation of that movement below the 200-day moving average, then there's no, you know, it, it, that's it. I mean, basically, it'll bounce off this, and then it'll go back to a, no, a very tight trading range. But if we do see it go through this and stay below it, it could be, there could be some significant selling coming in. Well, Peter, we've covered today's action and uh, talked about technical levels. I think in the short term, uh, investors as well as the rest of America, they are concerned about a possible uh, credit rating cut for the U.S. What do you think that would do to the market? Well, I think what, what it'll initially do is it'll be a significant move on the downside. It's a, it could be a major expense to the U.S. economy in a lot of different ways. Interest rates will go up. I mean, we've heard this, you know, ad nauseum about what will happen. But I think after that, that question mark is removed from the market, then everything goes back to, well, where's the economy going? Even though we do have this credit downgrade, which is a serious event, uh, are these companies, the individual companies, still growing? Is their business, are their businesses doing well? Which most are, and they have a lot of cash on hand. So they, there's some significant underlying uh, underpinnings of the market that could be very helpful later on. Right now, once the, the question mark is removed, that's when I think well, people and investors will go back to looking at the market and, and individually or sectors, however they trade, and then start getting back involved. But it's that, that question mark is what's causing a lot of this uh, volatility. Okay, Peter, thank you so much for your time, and thanks for all your insight today. Thank you very much.